Hi there, this is Fixed It. Uh, it's locked down and I've got a wooden post in the garden that's gone. I've spoken to a guy to replace it, um, but it's not available for some time due to lockdown. So I've got an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig all the wood out of the hole in the concrete under here. And then I'm going to cut this fence post off diagonally here and then I've got some other posts here and I'm going to do the same with one of these and to do a diagonal cut and I'm going to see if I can get the post into the hole and then line up the diagonal cuts and screw them together with some wood glue on it because if that's the case then the post should be secure now it might rattle a bit but there's nothing to stop me jamming extra bits of wood at the side. I mean, it's really just a temporary fix to stop the fence going over. Um, but you never know, it actually might be a, a worthwhile fix to do anyway. Um, I'll dig out the hole a bit more and then cut it off. But as you can see, the stuff that's coming out of the hole and coming out of this is just, you know, rotten wood, which will burn well on a barbecue. Having never been a man to throw things away, I've got these old posts that were pulled out of the ground previously by fence repair people. And although they're rotten in the bottom, they're actually uh, quite sturdy over halfway up. And I'm going to do the same with one of these and to do a diagonal cut. Before I can get at the hole to remove the old wood, I need to cut it off diagonally and remove the post above it. My original plan was to cut it off about here, but what I've discovered is that the rot goes all the way up here inside. And just to let you know, I set my jigsaw at an angle and used that to cut over halfway through this post in order to save me time, but also to give me an accurate slot that I could slide a saw in. There's no way at all that the short blade of the jigsaw could get through this post without reversing the angle of the blade and cutting from the other side which would have been totally impossible. And these jigsaws, they don't really like going deep into wood, so I had to do it gently, but that's given me a great guide for the manual saw now to take over and stay on the angle. I'm cutting it off at this angle here, and the idea is then I'll be able to push another post into the floor and then slide it into that gap and match the two up together. Um, obviously, if I cut it in the other direction, I'd never been able to get it in. Um, I've just got to cut through the rest of this, and it's damned hard work. Here we have a perfect concrete hole, and I'm just getting the rest of the rotten wood out of the bottom. As you can see, quite a bit's come out. And then when I've done that, I'll get some wood and I will slot it back into there and then pass it up onto the fence. This is the, the cut I made, so I'll do a similar cut on the new piece and then I'll screw that together and also batten either side of it. And um, that should really hold the fence completely. I'll make sure. Hang on, Bumblebee. Hang on, Mr. Bumblebee. All right, Mr. Bumblebee, please. Oh, now I've got other bees. Now I've got a bee that thinks it's a hole that it wants to play in. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I'll get all the, uh, the wood out of there and then I'll put some concrete powder and stones around the edge as I put it in um, so that when it rains and that sets, this, these bees are really having a good go at me at the moment, I don't understand why. I'm nowhere near any of their holes. Yeah, as I said, I'll get some concrete around that and it should hold for a good couple of years. I realised as I worked the hole it was a lot deeper than I thought, but I kept on digging um, to get it as deep as possible until I reached the bottom of the concrete. Okay, so that's a very deep hole and I think I've dug out as much as I can really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some concrete at the bottom of it and then bash a few posts, small posts, into it to flatten it out completely. And then I'm going to cut these posts here to size and um, get them in there and the gap. But I need to make sure it's as compacted as possible in the bottom before I do that because I don't want it dropping any further. As you can see, the size of that concrete shaft and any piece of wood that's in there is not going anywhere. And I'll make sure I paint it with preservative uh, before I put it in there. So it should last a good couple of years. 
a good thing about using the electric jigsaws followed by the handsaw is that I've got a really really good straight decent cut on that so I'll be able to measure that properly and when I cut the other piece of wood I can make sure that I actually cut that at the right angle so that the two pieces slot together when I uh, put them in the hole. As always what you want to do is to test before you commit so I've just taken this piece of 3b2 and sunk it to the right depth and cut it to the right angle and it looks as if it's going to do the job. By the time I knock it together obviously put lots of wood glue on it as I put it together and I'll then also screw it and then put some other pieces of 4b2 on the sides just to make sure it's completely secure but that really is not going anywhere and that fix that post really well well when I put the real post in okay we have the post nearly in at the top so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a load of wood glue on this surface I'm not going to put any on here because I'm still hitting that with a hammer uh, actually I will put some on there because I'll use another piece of wood um, so that when they go together there's wood glue between them <laughs> Can we hear you? here's Skippy taking advantage of the gap in the fence aren't you Skip as you can see we're really close uh, the two pieces are lining up really nicely and uh, once they do I'll put some screws in it and bolt it but it's already you know a solid fence and I'll just give the neighbour the plank back to fasten onto the other side and uh, so there we go nearly done so the job's done I've added a couple of extra supports as well um, there's obviously a notch at the bottom because I didn't have a 4x4, four four. Um, only 3x4, but to be honest the uh, um, to be honest, the gap in the cement wasn't really there. Um, but there we have it, it's, it's done, the fence is now utterly secure, it's glued, screwed and otherwise bolted and um, I'm really pleased with the results. Obviously when COVID-19 is over, I'll look about having it properly replaced. But in the meantime, it means the fence ain't going nowhere. And um, I've got some rope in it at the moment, that's just while the glue dries. Just to stop it blowing, because there's a slight bit of movement in it, actually. As you can see, there's just a little tremor when I push on it. And that's mainly me. So there you go, if you haven't got the, the money in order to pay for a complete fence post replacement um, but you have some wood lying around, you can actually do a cross cut on one piece and then a cross cut on the other piece and dig out the soil and uh, insert the post as I've done here. I noticed this morning that there's some movement on the fence just because obviously this piece of wood is not quite the same size as the last one but that's not a problem because what I'm doing is I've got some dry sand here and I'm just going to drop the dry sand here and then just wiggle it about and what will happen is obviously it will go into the crack and it will fill the crack and set like sandstone do that and then I'll put some concrete at the top just so the last bit sets completely but that will basically fill the gap and as you know once sandstone or once sand goes hard it's uh, pretty unmovable but it's as you can see it's no movement left in the post I'm really pleased with that very good that's quite interesting as to why there are not such things available I hope you liked the video don't forget to check out the description to this video because quite often there's other tips and links in there please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up and share it with others and don't forget to check out my other money saving tips there's a lot of money to be saved thanks for watching bye